Hello guys and welcome, it is the srb 2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video and first of all, I would just like to go and say that Nintendo, they listen. So to add some context to what I'm talking about, if you guys remember back in September where there was a UK land for the Splatoon European Championships and I had made this video to give off some constructive criticism and stuff like that to explain the points I made briefly, basically I wanted some smaller monitors, well gaming monitors fit for competitive gaming. Back in EGX we played an older version of Splatoon 2 and we weren't allowed to use our own consoles in the semi-final and final stages. And pretty much that was the gist of it. So why I'm making this video now is because Nintendo had invited three of the four top teams that were in the EGX semi-finals and finals to basically apologize for the complications that had happened in the tournament. Last week, Team 4D, Team Who, and Nintendo Life were invited to play an invitational tournament to have another chance of qualifying for the Splatoon European Championships. We were invited to the headquarters in the UK, and I've just got to say that this is the way you want your tournaments to be running. The small low latency monitors are the way to go definitely for competitive Splatoon considering motion controls are a thing every single movement is key because you want to be as precise as possible and when using motion controls on a big TV screen with a lot of latency it can make playing with motion controls very unpleasant as you aren't able to aim as accurately as you want to. You have to compensate and move your arms ahead of time for you to actually aim precisely which shouldn't be the way how it should be. And the big thing I'm most happy about is that we are allowed to use our consoles, which is how it should always be. With this, you're able to use the, all the gear that you've earned and worked up for, and you don't have run the risk of running into complications where you're playing an older version of Splatoon 2. This was the thing that was apparent in EGX, where the tri had came back from the dead, and where we had to relearn an old meta that we had not practiced for. But pretty much these were the three main stakes that kind of ruined the EGX tournament uh, back in September. And I'm glad that Nintendo patched it up and made up for it with this tournament. But talking about how the tournament went on, there was basically a round robin stage considering it was only three teams in the tournament. Fortunately for us, Team 4D, the team that I was in, managed to win all of our round robin matches where we were able to progress into the final stage of the tournament. In the finals, it was a best of five against Team Who and Team 4D. And fortunately, we had got the victory. So that means that Team 4D is off to the European Championships. The tournament wasn't the only thing that we did at the Nintendo headquarters. We also had a free range of playing a bunch of other Nintendo games that were also there. And pretty much all just hang out and ate a lot of pizza. Confirmed. Nintendo loves pizza, potato wedges, and garlic cheese bread. It was pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually the, one of the most unexpected things at an event like this. And I must say, I very much appreciated it. So pretty much why am I making this video? Really is because I felt like Nintendo did a really good thing for patching it up and making up for what they messed up in. It's also a message to other tournament organizers that do lands for Splatoon 2. You know, these are two major things. Making sure that the players use their own consoles, making sure that you have competitively fit gaming monitors and equipment and stuff like that. You know, it really does help. One thing I also want to mention that Nintendo also did a good thing in is that having pro controllers there. Now, you know, many of us have already probably bought pro controllers, but you know, some people haven't. Some people only use Joy-Cons and some people who don't have Joy-Cons really want pro controllers, but they just can't afford it. So for those people who didn't have pro controllers and also wanted the novelty of using one during a tournament, you know, Nintendo had our backs. They they provided them there and it was all good. So pretty much that is all I really wanted to say for this video. Thank you very much, Nintendo, for inviting us to this event. Looking forward to see what's up with the Splatoon European Championships. And that is pretty much all I have to say. So pretty much, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, follow me on Twitter and Twitch both in the description below do it for both if you're feeling generous and as always guys this has been the srb2 dude and i shall see you guys in a future video